Hey guys, it's Matt here from the Bull Call, and quickly today we're going over CPI. The biggest reason why the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are both down 2% with a market sell-off. So today, a big day, everything is down in red all over the board because of this. Now, inflation was, sp was supposed to keep coming down. Now, the real reason it's not is within this reading. So when you look at it, the month over month change of inflation, as you can see, there was many, many on the, on this bar on this chart here, you could see many, many months of tons of inflation just per month, almost 1% per month. That is crazy, over 1% per month. Now it started to come down in 2023 and now basically at the end of 2023, we were just getting roughly 0.2% and lower other than September and, and August. We were on track for interest rates to finally hit their ceiling and the Federal Federal Reserve to say, you know what, we did our job and at a 0.2 rate per month is really not bad at all when you analyze it. And unfortunately, it actually came in slightly higher than 0.2, it came in at 0.3 meaning that inflation is somehow increasing again. Now this could be because January is, you know, the first month of a year and many businesses just like to, you know, raise their prices like haircut places like to raise their prices on January 1st and that's it, you know what I mean? But there this is adjusted per year, so this would mean that you know, if your local haircut place charged 20 bucks and they're now charging 23, that this means that it it is a bigger jump than any other year. You know, if if the year before that it went from 18 to 20, you know, yes, there's a dollar amount assigned to, you know, like obviously that's a $2 amount and this is a $3 amount and it, you know, is, you know, roughly a similar percent. You know, let's just say it was, you know, less, you know, like let's say it went from 19 to 20 in the year before and and now it's, you know, going up even more averaged out, that would mean that this number comes in higher. So it is, you know, not just like, okay, all your local haircut places are raising prices. That means that it is raising prices more than it typically would because it is on an, it is annualized, um, averaged that way. So it's not just like, oh yeah, of course, everyone's going to raise prices in the first month of the year. So there is a little bit of calculations behind this number. So, you know, we were supposed to see this come down and when you take out certain things, you know, you like if you see less, um, this one right here, it says less food and energy, which typically is a little bit less volatile. We are still seeing a 4% CPI number reading, which is not great. You do want to see it come down to roughly 2-ish percent. That's where the Federal Reserve targets uh, inflation to be roughly 2%. So we still have a little bit of, of work to go, but all items is relatively low at 3.1%. So we are definitely heading towards the right direction, but we still need to keep working. And, you know, definitely it was supposed to come in at 0.2 with an annual gain of 2.9%. And now we're seeing it a little bit higher at 3.1. So, you know, there's still some, you know, some working it out and we'll have to see next month how the February breeding that we're currently in, we'll have to see how that pans out, and that will definitely show us if the Fed can cut rates or not. Um, the Federal Reserve was supposed to, you know, according to the market, cut rates at one of the next meetings, which was a 70% chance, and now that was now fully cut to like a 4% chance after the move today. The market definitely unpriced a rate cut coming up in the next two months because of this reading. So that's what's causing all of the tumbling in the market today, or it probably will be yesterday, or let's just call it February 13th. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.